Hello and welcome back. In this video series, we explore the new FreeQMS Complaints module by entering and processing an electronic complaint. This complaint will concern a purely fictional medical device product. The complaint process, although not identical, is roughly the same to ISO 9001, AS9100, IATF 16949, and other quality system customers that field, investigate, and act on complaints. In part 3 of this video series, we will be completing several complaint activities for our complaint Lifeguard 600 PCA Pump Over Infusion to Hospitalized Patient, including the correction and corrective action. As a refresher, we're going to start from the home screen of the Complaints module. We're going to select our complaint, Lifeguard PCA Pump Over Infusion to Hospitalized Patient. In part 1 of this video series, we created the initial complaint. In this complaint, an infusion pump our company manufacturers over infused a patient. The patient's heart stopped temporarily. This was reported by the hospital. We added a source and the part information for the pump. In part two, we investigated the complaint and determined that this pump infused an extra bolus shot due to a failure of its internal battery, which caused the clock to reset. We've been careful in each video to remind users that FreeQMS instructional videos should never be construed as legal or regulatory advice. In our fictional example, however, we have documented that there is a severe injury to a patient and, after our investigation, we have determined the fault lies with our device. The device in our example is sold only in the USA and falls under US regulations, which led us to perform and attach a US FDA decision tree to the reportability assessment activity. Our reportability assessment concluded this is a reportable event. We opted to use the FreeQMS Notify External Party Notification to track our notification of the FDA within the complaint record. This is a great organizational tool to keep all complaint files in one place. This activity contains a copy of our ESG submission. Now, after that lengthy intro, we're ready to switch to the Information tab for review and start the focus of our Part 3 videos, a correction and a corrective action. Let's review our problem statement. In this complaint, a PCA pump overinfused a hospitalized patient with pain medication. This led to the patient's heart stopping temporarily. This is a complex and serious complaint that would probably need considerable help from a quality team to determine corrective action. As this is a tutorial, however, we have a correction and corrective action in mind. For our correction, we are going to update our pump firmware and the directions for use for our pump. For our corrective action, we are going to update the SOP governing pump service. We are also going to send a field notice to notify current customers. Although it is not required, it is a great FreeQMS best practice to add additional complaint items to be used within the activities. Let's click Add Complaint Item. We are going to complete this form for our Lifeguard PCA pump firmware, which we will update through a correction. Source type will be write in. Title will be F500600 Firmware Rev2. This is the firmware for this series of pump products, which controls behavior around the battery and alerts. The remaining fields we can mark as NA. And let's click Add. Adding our pump firmware as a complaint item lets us reference the firmware in FreeQMS exports for trending of complaint info and lets us select the firmware as an action item within activities. Let's add one more complaint item before we get to our activities. We'll click Add Complaint Item again. We are going to complete this form for our Lifeguard PCA pump field and routine service SOP, which we will update through a corrective action. This SOP governs activities performed when the pump is returned to headquarters for service, or serviced in the field, which will now include items to address the battery issue which caused the overinfusion. Source type will be write in. For title, we'll put SOP 500 600 Field and Routing Service Rev 4 Lifeguard 600 PCA Pump Series. And the remaining fields will again mark as NA. Now let's click Add. Again, adding our pump service SOP as a complaint item lets us reference the SOP in FreeQMS exports for trending of complaint info and lets us select the SOP as an action item within the activities. Great, we've added our firmware and our SOP. Now we're ready to do some complaint activities. Let's scroll up to the top and click the Activities tab. 
Now that we've added our new complaint items, which as a reminder is not mandatory, but a best practice, it's time to start a correction. Let's click Create Activity and then Correction. We will complete this form. Activity status, new. Description, update device firmware. Assign to, we will assign this to Chip as a representative of our engineering team. Start date will be today's date. Due date will be 30 days from now. Complete date will be blank. Legacy record date will be NA. Complaint items. Here's where we will select our firmware. Once again, it was not necessary to do this and we could select the pump, but this is a great organizational tool for companies that want increased trending down the road. And correction. Here's where we will input our example correction. Update pump firmware to test BIOS battery life. Warn user with all alarm and on-screen warning of failed BIOS battery. Warn user with service required message and default to AC power if available for clock updates until BIOS battery is replaced. Risk posed by correction. We will enter an example risk statement. Risk of BIOS updates and related service procedures is covered in the product's FMEA. Risk tag B1.4. Let's click create. Great, our correction is created. Let's select it now. In real life, it would likely take some time to update a firmware and push the change through change control, even though the urgency of the situation would likely invoke management pressure. As this is a tutorial, we will complete this correction. Let's click edit and update the form. Activity status is now closed. Complete date will be today's date and we can click save. Now we need to attach the evidence of firmware update. For that, we'll use FreeQMS's evidence system. We'll start by clicking Add Complaint Activity Verification. For the evidence box, F500600 Firmware Rev 3 updated by change order 100800 on 14 September 2021. We will click Choose File next to Upload and select a dummy file from our computer. September 14th, 2021, F500600 Firmware Rev 3.4. And in file notes, we'll say firmware must be loaded onto each pump. Technician software is required. Now click Create. Let's click Add Complaint Activity Verification again. We referenced our FMEA, so we're going to add it. Evidence, current FMEA showing cited risk tag. We'll click Choose File Next to Upload and select our FMEA Excel sheet. File notes, we'll add NA. Now click Create. Great, we've now completed our correction. This is an example correction because we are doing a fix, updating the firmware, but we do not have a plan or active ongoing action to install the firmware. This represents the difference between a correction and a corrective action. Of course, we are going to remedy this deficiency with a corrective action to roll out our firmware. Let's click Create Complaint Activity, then Corrective Action. We will complete this form. Activity status, new. Description, update service SOP. We will assign this to Conrad as a representative of our quality team. Start date will be today. Due date is 365 days from now. Remember, this corrective action includes installing the new firmware on all units, so this will take a bit. Complete date will be blank. Legacy record date, NA. And complete items is where we'll select our SOP. Corrective action. Here is where we will input our example correction. Update field and in-house service procedure to include requirement to replace BIOS battery during service depending on age of device and time since last service. Update procedure to require all units have the most recent firmware installed during any service. Follow up with VOE activity. Risk posed by correction. We will enter an example risk statement. Risk of BIOS updates and related service procedures is covered in the product's FMEA. Risk tag B1.4. Risk of battery failure is covered in the product's FMEA. Risk tag P1.7. Risk of service events is covered in the product's FMEA. Risk tag S1.6. Now let's click Create. Awesome, we've created a corrective action to roll out our firmware update using our service SOP and our existing maintenance processes. 
Now we know this is a little silly because this process would take a long time, but for the purpose of this example video, we will close this action and add our new SOP. Let's click edit and complete our activity. Activity status is now closed and complete date will be today's date. Now let's click save. Now we've updated our SOP and we'll start rolling out firmware to new devices, but we can't just trust everyone, right? We need evidence. Let's click Add Complaint Activity Verification. We referenced our service FMEA, so we're going to add it. Evidence, current service FMEA showing cited risk tags. We will click Choose File next to Upload and select our service FMEA Excel sheets. Now let's click Create. Next, our SOP. Let's click Add Complaint Activity Verification again. Evidence, SOP updated to Rev 5 by change order 100965. We will click Choose File next to Upload and select our September 14, 2021 SOP 500600 Field and Routing Service Rev 5 Lifeguard 600 PCA Pump Series .docx. File notes we can say NA. Great, now we have our FMEA and our new SOP. For our best practice and to ensure the quality of our changes, we need some sort of long-term proof to verify the effectiveness of this corrective action. We could certainly do this and attach it as evidence to this corrective action if a realistic amount of time had lapsed. The evidence system can always be used for VOE. For purposes of example, however, we will be performing the dedicated complaint VOE activity in part 4 of this video series. For now, we've completed our corrective action and we have one more item, a notification to third parties. Why are we doing another notification? This video is meant to be a tutorial on realistic steps to close a complaint in compliance with reasonable quality system standards. In our example, we've updated a product's firmware through a correction, and we've updated the procedure to get the firmware onto the devices, but how do we get those devices? And how do we control risk to field devices? We're going to notify our customers with a field safety notice that they can and should return their units ASAP for a service to install the new firmware. This is a simple activity that we will complete on the initial pass. Let's click Create Complaint Activity again and then select Notify External Party. We will complete the form. Activity status as closed. Description will be Notify Customers with Field Safety Notice of New Firmware. Assigned to we will select the logged in user as a representative of regulatory. Start date will be today, and due date will be 30 days from today, and complete date again will be today. Complaint items will select all three by holding the control button. Action required, notify all current PCA 600 pump users of possible failure of BIOS battery, which may lead to overinfusion. Announce availability of firmware update. Notice required. Field safety notice. Notes will be NA. And let's go ahead and click create. Great, we've created a free QMS record of the need to send a field safety notice. But of course, as is always a best practice, we need to attach our evidence. For the final time in part three of our video series, we will click add complaint activity verification. For evidence, we can say field safety notice informing users of risk and firmware updates. Here in the upload section, we will click choose file where we'll find the PDF of the notice on our computer. File notes, we can say NA and then click create. Now we've really dotted our I's and crossed our T's. Our customers are aware of firmware updates and units should start to come in from the field. Of course, as is true with everything in quality, we will have to verify the success of our changes and the firmware install process with a verification of effectiveness. Look for that in part 4, which will conclude with closing and approving the electronic complaint.